Here we are at 4a from our 4.5 set of notes. We're asked to solve for x in this particular case. Now, to do that, what we're gonna do is subtract five from both sides. And the reason for that is our goal is to get him all by himself. So this negative five is gonna cancel out with the regular five. We're left with that x squared equals 16. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take the square root of both sides. Because when a square root and a square come together, they cancel with one another, leaving you with just your variable that you're solving for. Equals, and the square root of 16 comes out to be four. Now here's the thing though. Um, anytime you do this square root move right here, the moment you do that, you have introduced a plus minus, okay? And just to really quickly talk about why that is. If I have, for example, x squared equals, we'll do some different numbers like 36. Okay, well, I could plug in 6 into that. So 6 squared is 36, and that definitely equals the right side, 36. But I could also plug in negative 6, because when I square negative 6, I also get 36, which is the same as 36, right? And so anytime you do, like, honestly, the moment you do that square root move, is the moment you have introduced that plus minus, okay? So please don't forget that. Um, it's a commonly missed step. Sometimes students wanna do it earlier, sometimes they, they do it at the very end. It is the moment you do a square root on both sides is the moment then you introduce that plus minus, okay? Again, though, that is example 4A, and we're gonna see different scenarios of when and how to do that um, in these notes.